Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Um, you know, lately we have many uh, many things is happening every day actually, and the news uh, it's keep coming like crazy, and uh, the world is going you know uh, more mad. But what is really annoying that how naive a human being is, how stupid a human being can be. How the media can make you a toy. See, like it's amazing that CNN, you know, you know what CNN is, is number one uh, station who hate Christianity. I never saw a Christian uh, 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 like a statement or something about Christianity in this in this uh, TV station is not evil and bad. Now, suddenly the CNN is trying to present for us Obama, the hero. Uh, actually, I don't want to say suddenly, but the, the suddenly is that Obama is singing Amazing Grace. Wow, that's really amazing. Obama, the great Christian, singing Amazing Grace, isn't him yesterday? He was praising the gay and lesbian and he said, uh, love win. So which Amazing Grace he was uh, singing? Do you, are you guys are out of your mind? How someone, he want to sing Amazing Grace and he claim uh, he is in, he's in church, right? Like, this is a church. He is doing there what exactly? Like what is the what is the the agenda of Obama? Obama is the guy who make fun of the Bible. Obama is the one who defend gay and lesbian. Obama is the one who defend Islam. Obama is singing Amazing Grace. So who is Obama? What an ugly voice. And look how naive those brothers and sisters around him. I say they are naive with my respect to them. Isn't it this is the devil himself who is make fun of the Bible all over all his life? Like, am I making things up? and a Hindu nation and a nation of non-believers. And even if we did have only Christians in our midst, if we expelled every non-Christian from the United States of America, whose Christianity would we teach in the schools? Would it be James Dobson's or Al Sharpton's? Which passages of scripture should guide our public policy? Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay, and that eating uh, shellfish is an abomination? Or we could go uh, with uh, Deuteronomy, which suggests stoning your child if he strays from the faith? Or should we just stick to the Sermon on the Mount, a passage that is so radical? Just to show you how filthy this idiot is, and how stupid those who love this man. All the verses he said he mentioned have nothing to do with the Christianity because this is the law of the Jews. This is number one. And in his speech, he just said, this is not a Christian nation no more. It's a Jewish nation too. So he's making fun of the Christian nation or he's making fun of the Jews. Are you following me? You see how, how stupid those people who they are listening? Because every verse he mentioned or a statement he mentioned from the Bible is from the Old Testament, from the book of the Jews. But he said, this is not a Christian nation no more. It's a Jewish nation, Muslim nation, Buddha nation. But he's attacking Christianity supposedly, but he's quoting from the book of the Jews. And 
people who they are watching TV, they are a bunch of idiots and nobody noticed that this is not really what Christianity teach. If you are going to tell me and read for me something law was given to people thousands of years ago and tell me that this is a Christianity, you must be a fool. Jesus said, it's been said to you, but I say to you when they try to stone the women for adultery. So shame on you, all of you, to collapse for this man, those who hate Christianity, because you're a bunch of idiots. This guy he is just, you know, this guy is a businessman. He know his market. His market here is to sing Amazing Grace. His speech here is in front of atheists. Here we make fun of the Bible. There we sing the Bible. We go to the Jewish, we wear the hat. Here we are a Jew. In different place we are Muslims. In different place we are atheists. In different place he is gay. In different place he is singing Amazing Grace. Like he is, he is visiting a Jew, but he was making fun of the book of the Jew. He is praying as a Jew. He is wearing the hat of the Jew. What's wrong with those people? How stupid a human being can be? Like imagine, imagine, I come to you today as a Christian. Tomorrow I speak, I make a video defend Islam. Today I defend Christianity. Tomorrow I defend Judaism. The day after atheism. The day after uh, uh, gay and lesbian. And the day after, is, is, it's endless. It's endless of lies and the stupid fool American, they still believe this garbage. The scumbag. But by the way, Obama is not the only scumbag. Everybody, like what about Hillary Clinton? Oh man, this woman, she is the biggest scumbag ever in history. But for sure, she is trying to be in competition with Mac, what's his name? John McCain. Long time ago, I thought John McCain is a really a hero. And later I discovered that he is the most filthy between those who call themselves Republican. So what I'm trying to say to you guys, media, they play with your mind. Not only those people you see in TV who they claim to be leaders, they play with your mind. It's the media. Like, since when it's important for CNN, the most filthy station who hate Christianity to death, to present for us His Majesty Obama singing the Amazing Grace. And those naive Christians, they are so happy. Unbelievable, the President himself in our church. But I will tell you what Obama, he is trying to do. The whole purpose of this evil man, this Muslim, uh, 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 inside man is to divide America so when there is a mascara happening in a church against the Christians right away the filthy Obama and his gang they will say this is a this is a racism act against the black yes I agree it's a racist against the black but we forgot that this is an attack on a church and this is against us, all of us as a Christians. But right away they take the stand because they want to divide America more. They don't take the stand to make us united. No, they take the stand to make it look more ugly. This is why he sponsors everybody. He is a Christian with the Christian, he is a Jew with the Jew, he is a gay with the gay, he is an atheist with the atheist, he is a Muslim with the Muslims. Because the whole point is more division in America. The one who sing in Amazing Grace is the same one who said love win when the filthy court, which is called court of uh, justice, Decide it's okay to be uh, to get married in the court. Like you know, this is this is really stupid. Uh, what he, what they call today victory, uh, 
for me, I think it, it have no value because uh, sooner or later, this court will change and we can change the order again. The stupid American, they vote for this guy and he changed many members inside the highest court in America. But that can be fixed. I'm not really worried about it. Same time, you know, uh, gay and lesbian, I'm not really sh like sure what's wrong with those people. Like, you know, you want to get married? Well, what, do you, what do you mean? Well, what, what exactly that mean? You know, it's, it's really stupid. Like I wanna, I wanna see you. I wanna see a gay and lesbian uh, family. You know, come on. So go get married, have kids if you can. No problem. But for me, this is really, uh, it's it's a stupid victory. The the whole the whole world in in, in chaos. People dying by thousands. Children's hunger. Blah blah blah. And those are worry about worry about their ass. They are worried about how our our ass right and Obama he know how to play his game but again I want to go I want you to forget for now about Obama I want you to focus with me in the media you know somebody asked me to speak about Isis so I don't know really what to say about ISIS without making an introduction about what we have. Because the one who is making ISIS is not really ISIS. It is those people, Obama and his gang. Uh, you know, the, the gang in the White House, the gang in the Senate, the gang in the Congress. We have a gang of corporations. They are working for the benefit of arm makers and business deal. Many of you do not know how useful ISIS is. ISIS is the best opportunity for the billionaire around the earth and specifically for those who they are companies work with the NATO. If you go, just make a little search uh, about buying arms in 2015, you will be amazed and see how crazy things is going how much money they are making, billions, trillions of euros and, and, and dollars. Imagine, you know, how, how this, is the, this is the best time ever for those people. This is why you will see that those people will never, never, never try to solve problems. Like what about the problem in Ukraine? Ukraine is the best market. The stupid Ukrainian, they keep buying weapons and borrowing money. They say to them, okay, we want to give you $2, two billion. You pay us back later. Yeah, just take the weapon. Just take it and burn it. And, and you will win against Russia. Like, come on, we know they will never win. We know that this is a joke. Stupid people, they promised them that they will join the NATO after a few years. So what if you join the NATO? What they can the NATO do for you? You want to join the European Union? Look at the Greek, you know, look at the Greek, what happened to them? They are collapsing. You will stay a poor country because those people will never let you go up. So ISIS is exists for a reason. For many, it's about business deal. For Obama, it's more than a business deal. I spoke about this before, but just to make it short because I have only a minute left. Sooner or later, you will see Obama and his gang, Qatar, Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, deciding that it is time to get rid of ISIS. In order to do that, they have to present other kind of Muslims to take over. Because they will say, we cannot just fight ISIS because that will make the Muslims get angry. So we have to replace ISIS with an Islamic group. And that is the Muslim Brotherhood. They could not make them empire. Their, their dream failed because Saudi Arabia get angry from the Muslim Brotherhood. The Muslim Brotherhood being kicked out of Saudi from, from Egypt. And Saudi Arabia now trying to find a solution and try to fix their relationship with the Muslim Brotherhood again because they found there is no replacement except the Muslim Brotherhood for all those other groups. So they will try to fix it 
by destroying ISIS and building Islamic State under the Ottoman Empire again. Follow with me with more videos. Christ is Lord. Obama is false. I mean to